Welcome to the new video, let's talk about easily clean and refresh your shower curtain liner. A step-by-step -step guide cleanliness in the bathroom is important for several reasons. Firstly, it helps to maintain a hygienic environment and prevent the spread of germs and bacteria. A dirty bathroom can harbor harmful microorganisms that can cause illness and infections, especially in areas that are frequently touched or come into contact with water, such as the shower curtain liner. Secondly, a clean bathroom promotes good health and well-being by reducing unpleasant odors and providing a pleasant space to relax and refresh. Regular cleaning and maintenance can keep the bathroom smelling fresh and inviting, making it a more pleasant space to spend time in. Thirdly, a clean bathroom can also help to prolong the lifespan of fixtures and fixtures like the shower curtain liner. By regularly cleaning and removing soap scum and mildew, for example, you can prevent damage and discoloration that can be costly to repair or replace. Lastly, a clean bathroom also reflects positively on the overall cleanliness of the home and can help to improve the overall aesthetic and ambience of the space. Overall, regular cleaning and maintenance of the bathroom, including the shower curtain liner, can help to promote health and hygiene, prolong the life of fixtures, and enhance the overall aesthetic of the space. The shower curtain liner cleaning process typically involves a few basic steps, which include removing the shower curtain liner from the shower. Before cleaning, it's important to remove the shower curtain liner from the shower. This allows you to clean both sides of the liner and reach all areas that may have collected mold or mildew. Preparing the cleaning solution, depending on the type of material your liner is made of, you can use a variety of cleaning solutions to clean it, such as vinegar and baking soda, or a commercial shower cleaner. Cleaning the shower curtain liner Once you have the cleaning solution ready, use a sponge or brush to scrub the liner, paying special attention to areas that may be stained or have mold or mildew. If you're using a machine like a washing machine, you can add the liner to the machine with the cleaning solution, or if you're cleaning by hand, you can soak the liner in the solution. Drying and rehanging After cleaning, the liner should be thoroughly dried before rehanging it. If you clean it by hand, you can hang it outside in the sun or use a fan to dry it. If you used a washing machine, take it out and hang it to dry. Once it is dry, you can rehang it back in the shower. Final step, repeat this process regularly to prevent buildup of mildew, mold, and bacteria. It's also important to note that the frequency of cleaning will depend on your usage and environment. For instance, in high humidity environments or if you shower frequently, it might be needed to be cleaned more frequently than other instances. A. The materials required for cleaning can vary depending on the type of cleaning and the surface that is being cleaned, but generally, some common items include cleaning solutions or detergents, a bucket or container for mixing cleaning solutions, sponges, rags, or paper towels for wiping and scrubbing surfaces, scrub brushes for tougher stains or grime, a vacuum or broom and dustpan for removing debris. Gloves to protect hands. Safety equipment such as a mask and goggles, if necessary when selecting cleaning products, consider the following tips. Choose a product that is specifically designed for the type of surface or stain you need to clean. For example, there are different products for cleaning kitchen countertops versus cleaning bathroom tile. Focus on the dynamic fixings in the item. Some people may be sensitive or allergic to certain ingredients, so it is important to check the label. Avoid using harsh chemicals, especially on surfaces that come in contact with food or sensitive surfaces. It's best to choose eco-friendly, plant-based cleaning products for health and environmental reasons. Look for products that have been certified by recognized environmental or health organizations. Removing the shower curtain liner from the shower is an important step in the cleaning process. This allows you to clean both sides of the liner and reach all areas that may have collected mold or mildew. Below are the general steps for removing the shower curtain liner from the shower. Gather all necessary tools such as a screwdriver, if there are hooks or rings on the liner, pliers or a wire hanger. Remove any hooks or rings that are holding the liner in place. 
Depending on the type of shower curtain liner you have, you may need to use a screwdriver to remove screws that are holding the hooks or rings in place. Carefully slide the liner off of the hooks or rings. Being careful not to rip or tear it. If there are suction cups or magnets on the liner instead of hooks or rings, use pliers or wire hanger to carefully remove them. Once the liner is removed, shake it out to remove any excess water or debris. Be sure to check the hooks or rings and clean them as well, if necessary, to prevent rust or mold. Note, it is important to handle the liner gently, to prevent from tearing or causing damage, this also applies to the hooks or rings. Make sure to have a clean and dry place where you can lay the liner before cleaning. Preparing the cleaning solution is an important step in cleaning a shower curtain liner. The solution will depend on the type of material the liner is made of, as well as any specific cleaning challenges it may present. Below are some tips for preparing a cleaning solution for a shower curtain liner, white vinegar and baking soda. One popular cleaning solution for shower curtain liners is a mixture of white vinegar and baking soda. To make this solution, mix one cup of white vinegar with a quarter cup of baking soda in a spray bottle. Shake well to combine. This solution is especially good for removing mold and mildew. Commercial Shower Cleaner There are a variety of commercial shower cleaners available that can be used to clean a shower curtain liner. Be sure to check the label to make sure the product is safe for use on your particular type of shower curtain liner. Mild Detergent Solution Mixing a small amount of mild detergent, such as dish soap, with water in a bucket or basin can also be effective in cleaning a shower curtain liner. Hydrogen Peroxide Solution Mixing a small amount of hydrogen peroxide with water in a spray bottle can also be effective in cleaning and sanitizing a shower curtain liner. When preparing any cleaning solution, make sure to test a small area before cleaning the whole liner to make sure it does not damage or discolor it. Regardless of the cleaning solution you choose, be sure to carefully read the instructions and use it as directed. In general, the solution should be applied to the shower curtain liner and then scrubbed with a sponge or brush, paying special attention to areas that may be stained or have mold or mildew. It's also recommended to wear gloves while handling cleaning solutions to avoid any skin irritation. Here are some step-by-step -step instructions for cleaning a shower curtain liner. Remove the shower curtain liner from the shower or bathtub and lay it flat on a clean surface. Vacuum or brush the liner to remove any loose debris. Fill a tub or sink with warm water and a mild detergent or cleaning solution. Place the shower curtain liner in the water and use a scrub brush or a non-abrasive sponge to gently scrub the entire surface. For tough stains or mildew, you can apply a solution of equal parts white vinegar and water to the affected areas. Permit it to sit for 10 to 15 minutes prior to cleaning. Once you are finished scrubbing, rinse the liner thoroughly with clean water to remove any remaining soap or cleaning solution. Hang the liner up to dry or lay it flat on a clean surface, to dry. For removing tough stains? For mildew stains, you can use a solution of equal parts water and bleach. Be sure to avoid getting bleach on any colored areas of the liner, as it can cause discoloration. For tough mildew stains, use a solution of one part hydrogen peroxide and one part baking soda and rub it with a brush before rinsing. For scrubbing and cleaning hard-to-reach areas. Use a toothbrush to scrub small areas, like around the grommets or in the crevices of the design. Use a long-handled brush to scrub the top of the liner or the upper edge of the curtain. A squeegee can also be useful for reaching the top of the liner and the upper edge of the curtain. For particularly hard-to-reach areas, you can use a cleaning wand attachment on your vacuum cleaner. To suction out debris. For thoroughly drying the shower curtain liner. Wipe down the liner with a clean, dry towel to remove excess water. Hang the liner in a well-ventilated area where it can receive sunlight and air flow, such as a laundry room or outdoor clothesline. If the liner is machine washable, put it in the dryer on a low heat setting. Avoid using a dryer sheet, as the chemicals in the sheet can leave a residue on the liner. Leave the liner to dry completely before rehanging. For preventing mildew and mold growth. 
keep the bathroom well ventilated by running an exhaust fan during and after showers and leaving the bathroom door open when possible. Clean the shower curtain liner regularly, at least once a month. Use a mold-resistant shower curtain liner or add a mold-inhibiting solution to the wash when cleaning the liner. Don't let water or soap suds sit on the liner for long periods of time. Wipe it down after every shower. For rehanging the clean shower curtain liner, make sure the liner is completely dry before rehanging. Inspect the liner for any signs of mildew or mold growth and clean as necessary. If using a plastic shower curtain, slide the curtain hooks onto the new liner. If using a fabric shower curtain, attach the new liner to the hooks or rings on the shower curtain rod. Make sure the liner is hanging straight and smooth. Use a small amount of mild detergent or baking soda mixed with water to clean the rod and hook or rings to prevent mildew from forming again. Recap of the cleaning process Cleaning a shower curtain liner is an important task to keep your bathroom fresh and hygienic. The process includes removing the liner from the shower, preparing an appropriate cleaning solution, cleaning the liner with a brush or sponge and making sure to pay attention to hard-to-reach areas and stains, and then rinsing it and leaving it to dry thoroughly before rehanging it. Benefits of a clean shower curtain liner A clean shower curtain liner can help prevent the growth of mold and mildew, which can cause unpleasant odors and discoloration. It can also help to prevent the buildup of dirt and soap scum, which can cause stains on the liner. A clean and well-maintained shower curtain liner can also help to maintain a clean and fresh-looking bathroom. Recommendations for regular cleaning and maintenance To maintain a clean and fresh shower curtain liner, it is recommended to clean it regularly. A weekly cleaning schedule can be sufficient in most cases. It's also important to keep the bathroom well ventilated and clean, and avoid excess water on the floor. Also, it's a good idea to check the liner regularly for any signs of discoloration or odors that might indicate mold or mildew growth. If found, address the problem immediately. By following these recommendations, you can maintain a clean and fresh shower curtain liner that will help to keep your bathroom looking and smelling its best.